got her cleaned up and I'm shaking a paint can. I'm going to put on some gray primer before I put the color on. Uh, covered up the car so I don't get any overspray on it. Anyway, let's see how this turns out. Okay, I've got it primed. Oops, wrong one. There, that's better. That's better than looking at a half-naked woman. Right there, a 505 stroker. That didn't take long to prime, but <clears throat> I guess I should have wore a respirator. Hmm, I'm flying. We'll give that a little while to dry and then we'll go ahead and start putting the color on. Okay, got the second coat on. She's looking pretty good. Just let it give it some time to dry good now. Nice and shiny. A pretty good match for the car. I think this will look good once I get all the chrome stuff on it and get her unwrapped. It's going to look nice. I'm glad I did it this way. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> welcome back. I wanted to show you my $900 Harlan Sharp roller knocker. I mean, roller rockers. Uh, these came on the engine originally that came with the car. And whoever built this engine put $900 Harlan Sharp roller rockers on a set of old Chrysler 906 cast heads. Uh, they didn't have any port work or anything special. And then they used these factory uh, Chrysler hold downs. It's just a stamp, cheesy piece of metal. So I bought a kit from uh, Hughes Engines. And it's these nice, big, heavy cast hold downs. Uh, the ARP stud and the nut to go in them. And then I also bought a shim kit, which is these silver-colored shims here. Uh, they didn't have these shimmed at all either. And you got to shim them for side-to-side -side movement. And then you've also got to get your uh, tips uh, centered over your stem. So it took quite a while to do this take it off put it on take it off I put a bunch of marks on there telling me which way I needed to move it but I'm getting ready to put on my valley tin and my intake manifold permanent uh, I've painted the valley tin purple to match the car painted the engine looks good and so I'm getting ready to do that next
Well, I've got wires. I just had to have these purple wires. But I got to get some tie downs, and they make some cool aluminum billet tie downs that you go over these with and organize them nice and neat. And then I've got me a Q850, it's a quick fuel carburetor. That, uh, I think I, I got that from Summit. Looks like a lot like a Holly, but one thing I forgot to get was a fuel rail. So I need to get that fuel rail and get some headers coming. And what else? Oh, I need a. I want to get an MSD ignition system for it. Something with a rev limiter on it, so I need to get that. And keep chugging along. We'll be ready for the dyno for long.